What's up guys? Welcome to a get ready with me. I don't think I've ever done one of these before, um, but I get ready all the time, so might as well. So I am going to be doing um, a get ready with me and just talking about some general things that I feel like I don't usually talk about. So just like school, how I stay organized. Um, I know that a lot of people have been asking me questions about UTSA and about UTSA Greek life specifically. I did film like a UTSA Q&A over the break and just like the scheduling of like when that would go up or like when I was gonna, it just like didn't work and then it was weird that I was like home because it was when I was home for winter break so I'm like in my house but now I'm here and it's also like March. So <laughs> I just thought that'd be weird so I'm just gonna like scrap it and just do a new one. Um, yeah, so I am going to be doing a get ready with me, like I said. So just like getting right into it, I'm going to be using the Smashbox Photo Fitness Primer. Um, I want to try that like TikTok thing that everyone's doing where they prime their face and then they do the powder and then the setting spray and then they put all their makeup on. I'm not a big primer gal. I literally only use pore filling primers. So, um, yeah, other than that, like, why would I need a hydrating primer when I have moisturizer, you know? So, and now you're supposed to take a powder. I'm going to use the Fit Me because this is what a lot of people use in the TikToks. This is the Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder in 222 True Beige. It's what I used to use, um, as a bronzer when I was pale. <laughs> it's funny. And then you're just supposed to, like pat it in your skin also my forehead is like really breaking out i'm supposed to start my period soon so i think that's why i guess just like starting off with school um if y'all watch my videos you know that i'm in four online classes and one in-person class um being an english major is interesting my professors are always so sweet and nice but sometimes they're like a little crazy um, which you also know if you w have watched my, um, like, day in my life, like, school vlogs from last semester. I had a really funny gal in those, but, um, it's just weird. Like, they don't really follow the schedule that they tell you. We literally watched The Shining in one of our classes, like, on one of our days of classes, because it's the same class. I only have the one in person. But she literally had us like vote on a movie that we wanted to, I mean she gave us like options and the other ones were like a silent film and everyone was like, we're not, we're not doing that. So we literally just watched The Shining for fun. Like we're not going to be tested on it, she didn't make us answer questions with the movie. Like we literally just watched The Shining. And attendance is a grade. So I'm literally being forced to come to class to watch The Shining. I don't understand it. You're supposed to do the setting spray after the powder. And let that soak in. I'm gonna take a sip of my coffee. So, like I said, like it's kind of weird, um, and that class isn't really hard. So, being an English major to me is not necessarily like the the difficulty is not up there, but like the discipline is, if that makes sense. Because it's not like hard things that you're doing. It's just like a lot of books and a lot of like reading so it's literally just like here read this book and then we're gonna come to class and discuss it and by like read this book I mean like like this like this is Uncle Tom's Cabin and it was like it's thick and they were like okay like read this in um like a week and then next week we're gonna come and do it and like you have it on the syllabus so you can read it ahead of time I my current method is just like not reading it at all so <laughs> Um, but like I got an A in that class last semester and this semester is like the second half of that class and I'm not gonna be like I'm not gonna read because ah, I got an A before because this class is proving to be like a little different in like structure and how she grades so um, we're about to take our midterm next week so I'll see how that goes and then adjust accordingly and that's not to say that I'm not like doing work you know like I'm doing work in the class I'm just not really 
I'm not actually reading. I'll usually like skim it if it's like short and if it's not short, I'll like read the spark notes and like listen to her lecture, which like is probably not the best, but like, what are you gonna do, you know? Okay, now we're going into the foundation. I've been using the Maybelline Superstay lately. I have two shades. Um, they're virtually the same. You can like barely tell. This one's obviously like barely darker. Um, but I'm gonna be using, um, I'll use the lighter one. I'm kind of, my fake tan is like going away. So I'll use the lighter one and just like bronze as needed because this does oxidize like a little bit on me. So yeah, that class is kind of interesting. Um, all my online classes are all like basic classes. Like my, the last of my basics before um, all of my classes will be for my major or like electives. So I've never been good at like history or, any, or like politics or any of that stuff. And taking it online isn't bad, but it does like require a lot of organization that I like don't possess. But I think it's also good because it's like, forcing me to be organized, you know? So I've been really big into like Google Calendar lately, which I know like everyone's on that wave. And I have too, but I've been using it a lot more. And I've been using my planner. I have like multiple calendars. Like I have my week overview on my wall. Um, I think I've showed that in a video before. If not, I have like, it's like a little whiteboard that has the days of the week. And I just kind of outline my week like you work on this day, you have class on this day. So it's easy for me to like be in my room and look and be like, oh, like I have that tomorrow. Like I totally forgot it. All right, I'm going in with concealer. This is the Revlon Candid. It doesn't have like crazy coverage, but it has like enough for like an average under eye. So I'll put some under my eyes and then I'll go in like on the very inner part with the e.l.f. camo concealer. It's been like my routine and it's been working really well for me. And the camel concealer is like super drying, which is why I don't like using it everywhere all the time. So that syllabus list has kept me pretty organized. And then I also have my bullet journal, which I keep track of school, but mostly like other things like YouTube and work and um, like finances and stuff. I've been really trying to like take care of my finances and like get my life together. Um, I'm definitely like working a lot more and like doing more things that like my income like that affects my income and um, I'm actually gonna be moving into a new apartment next year with Jill and Alyssa I don't think I've said that in a vlog, but I'm so excited to room with them I'm like obsessed with them. Obviously they're in like every vlog um, And I'm gonna be living with them. I'm so excited um, but it does like cost more than where I'm living now because right now I'm just in a regular apartment and they're in student housing um, That's like fully furnished and it's right next to campus um, so That's gonna be different and it's like more expensive. So I'm definitely trying to like Save up a lot and I know I'm gonna be working because I have my two jobs now but over the summer I work as a lifeguard lead so it's basically like a manager of the lifeguards um, and we like do the like the big slides and all that kind of stuff So um, and that's kind of like my main source of income over the summer Okay, my foundation actually does look really bomb. I'm kind of shook by this like Trend and this is actually like a really good color match. I'm kind of killing it right now So I also like to do setting spray like multiple steps through my routine So I don't end up looking powdery not like a lot, I do like a lot at the end, but um, that's kind of like my routine these days. I do my eyebrows now. Brows are done, I'm eating toast. Um, I'm going in with this crusted, dusted um, light bronze pearl mineral palette. I use this all the time. I actually recently went and picked up a new one because she's like really on her last leg. Um, and I got the, I was afraid cause like it kind of like it looks the same, but it also like kind of does not but this is the same thing. It's just kind of like repackaged. So this is the mineral glow pour pearls. This is the mineral glow pearls in bronze pearl. So almost the same. Um, and it looks like that when it's like new, I haven't touched this one and I swatched it and it is the same when you get it. Like, I think I've used this like once. Um, so like the top is kind of dull now when you get it. It's like 
shiny on the top like really shiny um so it like scared me because i was like oh like did they reformulate it i don't know so i was kind of afraid because y'all know this is like my ride or die product i'm using the model's own sculpt and glow matte bronzing powder so i kind of already talked about like my school life so it is proven to be for online classes it's proven to be a lot more stressful than i thought it was going to be it's mostly just like you have to stay on top of it like online classes are great but they're like one of them is completely self-paced and the other ones is like you have the schedule and you're just like expected to know like um, like you're expected to know you're an adult but like i'm just saying that to explain like it's just like you have to be on top of it and if you're not like bummer you know um so that's kind of been like enlightening <laughs> and it's like forced me to be more organized and forced me to like plan better which is good so I kind of want to do like an organization video and like how I stay organized maybe sometime soon I don't know so um obviously we had like elections and uh chairman positions and everything like that I ended up applying for um our recruitment video chair I think I've mentioned this in like a couple of videos but I've never like explicitly said anything about it so if you've seen the videos before recruitment of like all the girls and they're like fake laughing and being like ah, ha, 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 I love my life like go find me that's what I'll be doing um I'll be like helping create that and like we have the vision for it and our videographer and all the shoots are being planned we have most of them planned we just have to plan like one more and I'm so excited about it. It's like obviously right up my alley because I am I do this every day. Um, but I'm just so, I'm excited about it. And I have a really good concept that I'm excited for. And I am a co-chair. So my other chair, her name is Serena. And she's super cute. Um, she's one of our like new members from the fall. And she's like so aesthetic. Like she's literally an e-girl. Um, and I feel like that'll be really good like the two of us doing it together so I'm excited essence pure nude y'all already know I literally use the same products and everything that's why I feel like I can't really do tutorials anymore so that's kind of what's new in find you doing that we just got a new pledge class um right now we have three but I think we're actually taking one more so that'll be really exciting they're so cute and it's so weird I feel so old <laughs> And find you like all these things like happening. I'm like, oh, like I'm so like I'm just like an older member. It's so annoying, but like it's kind of cool too because like younger members will like ask me questions and I'm like, oh yeah, like I know the answers now. Like ugh. growing up, am I right? This is the Born to Run palette. I'm using Radio. It's like this blue. I'm gonna just put it. No, this was no. It was a mistake. Dang it. Why do I do this? Oh my god, I regret it. I regret it. You know, it's not that bad. I'm gonna go into Weekender, which is like my literally like most used shade. She's like dented the house. Um, and it's just this like a nude. And I'm gonna kind of start like buffing that in my crease. I'm kind of like diffusing out the edges of that with this i need to put some powder down because how do, literally how do i already have fallout like literally how okay that's a thumbnail okay back in we're just buffing and blending y'all okay now i'm gonna go in with riff really lightly because it's a really like brown color like barely and I'm gonna take that like right along the crease I'm just gonna like warm it up okay, sorry I'm getting so like focused on my eyeshadow but I'm literally I just stopped talking um I'm literally just taking riff and like really buffing it out um so while I'm doing that I can kind of talk so one of the things that I have wanted to talk about a lot um but haven't really gotten the chance is like more about like my personal life over winter break, a lot of things happened in my personal life, like family um, and friends and like relationships and just literally every aspect of my life really, really changed over 
winter break and it was really hard for multiple reasons. Like I said, there's literally something from every aspect. So one, it's just a lot to talk about and two, it's just not really, I'm just like not really ready to like share that on the internet. Okay, I'm going back in with radio and just touching up what we had on the lid before. So, um, because of all the changes, it kind of like made me really take a step back and think like, what do I want out of life? Like, what am I, honestly, it was kind of like a what am I doing moment where I'm like, why am I doing all these things? Like, what, what do I want to be doing? You know, like who is the person that I want to be and why am I not her? <laughs> that was like so deep. So that was interesting I've never like looked at my life like that and I think it like really made me say like I don't like that I'm doing this or like this is something I've always wanted to do why am I not doing that kind of thing so um, I know I like literally dropped off the face of the earth for like a good while so I'm like sorry about that <laughs> but I think I just like really needed time to collect myself and like deal with everything because it really just like all came at once like so I, I talked to my sister like almost every day and I was just telling her like I sometimes like really feel like my life is not real like I really feel like sometimes like God or the universe or like whoever is just like let's just see what she does you know <laughs> so um that kind of sucks most of the time all right, time for mascara, and I honestly, like, that's it. Like, I'll be done. <laughs> All right, this is the eye look with mascara. I haven't put a lip on, and I need to go finish curling my hair. So I'm going to do that, and then I will check with y'all to just, like, end out the video. Um, I guess, like, kind of what I was saying before, um, before I kind of, like, got distracted with, like, the eyeshadow again, my life, like, really got flipped upside down um, at the beginning of 2020, like, literally over winter break in January. It just really changed in so many ways, and I think it was for the better, even, like, if it was really hard or different or difficult. I think I needed it to kind of, like, figure out what I want to do and figure out, like, what like what I want to do and who I am and all that, like, deep stuff. So I just feel like I've been finding what like makes me happy and like being a lot happier in general like knowing that I'm like on my path um and that I'm like create like actively creating my path so yeah that's what I was trying to say um and I might like talk about it more in the future but right now I just don't want to talk about it <laughs> but that also is kind of like why I took such a long break from uploading videos like I literally didn't upload anything I kind of stopped doing vlogmas because life got crazy in December and then I didn't upload anything until like February because yikes. So that's what's been going on with me. Like I said, I'm gonna finish getting ready and then I'll be right back to talk to y'all. All right, y'all. So I quite literally like ran out the door while I was doing my makeup. I didn't really realize what time it was. And then I finished my makeup and I was like, oh wow, I have four minutes, which is why my hair looks absolutely awful. Um, I don't want to talk about it, <laughs> so I am done with my makeup. Uh, I'll insert a clip of what it looks like in the sun because the lighting right now is terrible. It's like really gloomy out. So that was the makeup. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope this little get ready with me wasn't like awful. I feel like it was extremely boring. But if it was that bad, then like you'll never see it. So like I won't be talking to anybody right now. But if I am talking to somebody, it means that I saw something worth posting in this video you know so anyways i am on my way to campus uh for a sorority event that's why i was getting ready in the first place this camera will not stay correct um the lighting is so bad i'm so flustered right now i hate being flustered anyways it's the end yay my boobs gonna fall on my shirt okay Anyways, y'all, this is the end of the video. If you liked it, you can give it a thumbs up or you can subscribe if you're feeling extra nice, um, especially because I, you know, give it a pity like just for my hair, just for how tragic and oily my hair is, you can give it a like. Okay, I will see you in the next one. Bye.